In order to maintain originality and connectability in our wiring products, occasionally we need to have components made that are no longer available or are now obsolete. This brass wire terminal is one example of a component we need to have tooled. Fortunately, our manufacturing facility in Bedford Park, Illinois is right next door to a tool and die facility that can manufacture some of the terminals we need. Made in the USA. Next, the machinist will explain the process needed to make this terminal on a progressive die tool using a 40 ton press. So the terminals are produced on a progressive die, it's 32,000 stick material. The die progresses along at a 5 8 inch increment. The first hit coins the end of the terminal, puts a little flat on there, that's your lead edge of the terminal. The die progresses over, puts in the first hole, it idles, and then the, the die idles, in other words, no work is being done, progresses over to the next station, notches out this area, it idles again, no work, idles, idles, it does a form, and then the final station cuts this section out, which would be on this side, cuts the section out, parts the terminal for a completed part. So as the parts are being made, several critical dimensions are checked. For the job, we're going to check the thickness of our material, which in this case is 32 thousandths. Then, as we produce our part, we're going to be checking other dimensions here. The critical ones, namely the overall width, running about 318. We want to make sure that our hole is centered. And it's centered within about two and a half to three thousandths. We'll also check the overall height of the form where a wire is crimped in. And that's actually right on dimension there. We'll do a visual. We'll look for any scratches 
any misformed area. And if all is well, you should have a good quality part.